Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a polish fix video for you guys. If you've never seen what a polish fix video is, it's not a, vi a video idea that I came up with. I first saw it on Lauren May Beauty's uh, channel and I also saw it on Curious Sparkles channel. Um, I would say that it's also very very equivalent to um, what um, Little Pearl was doing on her channel uh, the Keep Over Donate series. It's pretty much the same thing. So try and link them down below because I don't want to take the credit for this series because it was not my idea. So basically you go through your nail polish collection and you wear every single one of your nail polish one at a time for a well you you actually paint your nails as you normally would and then you decide if you want to keep that polish in your collection or declutter it. Nail polish is one of my weaknesses when it comes to makeup. I have around 50 nail polishes and if you know my num other numbers in my collection, 50 is really my higher um, number of product. I will link my inventory where I talk about my other products in, my, in the description bar so you'll see that 50 for me is a very high number. So for this, um, for the last month, I actually managed to wear seven different nail polishes. I have swatches of every single one of the polishes, so I will be inserting them in the screen so you can actually see what they look on my nails. But basically, I have three criteria for if I want to keep or not a nail polish. First off, do I like the color on me? That if I don't like the color on me, it's an immediate declutter. I'm not going to keep it. Then there is wear time. Is the wear time decent or not? I always wear um, the same base coat. It's not actually a base coat. I'm working on a nail strengthener that I'm using as a base coat, but I've worn that under the same one under each polish. And then over top, I'm always topping it off with the same um, nail polish topper, which is the HK Girl, HK Girl from Glisten and Glow. Um, it's my holy girl favorite top coat. So they have like the same standards to compare with. The only ones that I won't be using those products on are glitters because I use a glitter base coat. I cannot deal with removing glitter afterwards. So that's criteria number two, how long they wear with those products. And then criteria number three is how they actually apply because if it takes four coats and it's a pain to deal with, then I might declutter the product. So I am gonna show you the nail polishes that I wore over the last month and what I thought of them. Um, I am going to be running this series until I go through every single one of my nail polishes. And then I have a few ideas for uh, other projects for this year and I have a, um, an awesome idea for next year that I'm really excited about, but I have first to go through my nail polish collection before I start into that project. So I'm going to put them, pick them up at random and tell you guys what I thought of them and if I'm keeping them or declaring them. The first one is the one that I'm wearing on my nails currently. Um, this is from Orly and it's in the shade Plum Sugar. This is a deep, deep, deep um, purplish color. It has a lot of blue in it. So it's somewhere between a purple and a blue. Um, it has a little bit too much blue for my liking. Um, on my nail versus in the bottle, it doesn't look exactly the same. The formula is super decent. It is a one coater. Um, so that what I have on my nail is only one coat, which is usually the case with most dark shades. Um, I don't know about the wear time because I've put that one on, I think, I put I want on yesterday night. There is no chipping currently, but it's only been a day. Um, I am going to be decluttering that one, so that's the reason that I didn't like do a test on the wear time. Um, it is not a bad polish by any means, but I don't like the color on me. Um, I would rather it be a little bit more on a pinky purple than a blue tone purple. And I think I have another navy in my collection that I prefer. Uh, over this one, which is a purple navy. Um, so this one will be going, leaving my collection. Another polish that I've tried this month in the like purple family, I have three in the purple family, is from Essie. It's this one right here, and it's in the shade Go Ginza. I love this polish on my nails. I really, really like um, light pinky purplish polishes on my nails. That's a color that I really tend to reach for and love. And at this time of the year, this type of color is perfect. The formula is rather decent. Uh, two coats and I get uh, I get it opaque enough for my liking. It's not necessarily, if you're really, really picky, you might want to put a third coat over top. But for the most part, honestly, two coats and you're good to go. Um, it's not streaky, it's not bad. And it, this one lasted almost a week on me. So definitely a good formula for this one. As these are tend to be it or miss formulas, this one is a hit for me. And I'm definitely keeping that one in my collection. 
The last fur bolt that I've tried over the last month is this one, also by Essie. I have, most of my collection is Essie. I would say that over 50% of my polishes are from Essie. So that's a brand that you're going to see most in these videos. I'm trying not to have all the same color families in the video and not all the same brand, but definitely Essie is going to um, occur a little bit more often. This one is in the shade Playdate, and I didn't love that one on my skin. It is a little bit too cool tone. I think that I would have liked it if it had a little bit more warmth to it. Um, this one didn't look that amazing on my nails and I will be letting go of it. It's not a bad formula. It chips a lot faster than Gogenza did. I think that after like three days I had chipping, this one almost a week. Um, so formula is not as great. This one looks a little bit more like a jelly and a little bit less like a cream and I tend to prefer creams also. So this one is a declutter. It's not a bad polish. It's just not my favorite. So I will be letting it go. Another polish I've tried is during the last month is this one by Formula X and it's in the shade Lively. It's a beautiful light yellow formula. Um, light yellows are tend to be rather thricky in formula. It's a little bit harder to apply than most of the other ones I've worked with during the last month, but it is to be expected from that kind of a shade. It's not a straight up yellow. It has just a little bit of like flesh tone to it, if you will. I don't know how to describe it better. Um, I really like that color of my skin. I especially like it if I have more of a tan than I do right now. I'm a little bit pale for that, co for that color, but I still really like it. I love it at around Easter. I do a mani that includes this one, this one, and other shades of pastel, and I absolutely love that. Um, this one, as I mentioned, is a little bit trickier of a formula, but for a pale yellow, it's a really, really good formula. If you're looking for a good pale yellow, this one is one that I would recommend. Um, I am definitely keeping that one in my collection. It's my only uh, full-size Formula X nail polish, and I really like it. I like it enough that I would try other polishes from the brand. It's really, really good. Two nail polishes I don't have any swatches for because I went to try one of them out and I realized that there was no way that I could apply it. These are the two polishes I'm talking about. This one is uh, Getting Miss Piggy With It and this one is Fresh Frog of Bel Air. They're both from uh, OPI. They are beautiful sparkling nail polishes but they are completely dry at this point. I've had them for years. I didn't wear them over the two last Christmases. I think I've had them for like eight or nine years, I would say. Um, they were awesome. They looked absolutely amazing on the nail. They were pretty opaque for glitters, like two coats you could get. You could barely see any nail line on them. They were awesome formulas. If you can get your hands on them, I would still recommend them, but there's no way that I can wear those, so I will just be decluttering them. And since I didn't wear them over the two last Christmases, it's not like I won't try to tint them out and stuff like that because I didn't wear them. I haven't worn them for two years. So it's not a big miss in my collection. So I am just going to toss those and call it a day. The final nail polish that I've tried in the last month is this one by Essie and it's in the shade Spin the Bottle. It's a beautiful, beautiful nude shade. I absolutely love it. It is really flattering on my skin tone. It lasted a solid week on my nails before there was chipping. So that is absolutely awesome. Like there was barely any wear around the nails after a week. So I was really, really impressed with the wear time of this one. Mm -hmm. And the formula is really nice. I have two coats and it was completely opaque. I really, really liked it. The shade is really flattering on my skin and I am definitely keeping it in my collection. So these are the polishes that I've tried over the month. I'm quite excited because I am decluttering more than I'm actually keeping. I am decluttering these four nail polishes. Two will go to a better home and two will, go, will be uh, trashed because they are um, too dried out to be uh, passed on. And then I am keeping three in my collection, which I really, really like. I will keep totals in the description bar of how many polishes I'm keeping and donating and the number that I still have to go through so you can uh, be posted on that every single time. I plan to film these updates about monthly and I'm hoping to have uh, more than five to show every single update. My goal is to have at least five every single month. I'm not necessarily painting my nails 
very often lately because with the baby it's a little bit more complex and um, also I want to like give the nail polishes that I like um, a long period to actually see the wear and tear on them and see if the formula lasts long or it doesn't last long so I'm really experimenting with them a little bit so I'd rather keep them on for a little bit longer so it means I have less polishes to actually show you guys but I'm still aiming to have at least five every single month to share with you guys. This is it for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.